which is alkanes introduction the simplest organic compound are hydrocarbons the compound containing only carbon and hydrogen depending upon the framework of carbon atoms in their molecules the hydrocarbons may have either open chain or ring structures in addition they may saturated or unsaturated in character according to the nature of carbon carbon bonds in them due to these variations hydrocarbon have been divided into different classes we shall discuss the various classes of hydrocarbons one by one starting with alkanes structure of alkanes alkanes are open chain saturated hydrocarbons having the general formula cnh 2n+2 where n is the number of carbon atoms they contains only one single covalent bonds between carbon and carbon carbon and hydrogen in their molecules as such carbon atom is bonded in four other atoms as is clear from the formula of methane ethane propane the first three members of alkanes the bonding alkanes are formed by the overlapping of sp3 hybridized orbitals of each carbon atoms with similar orbital of other carbon atoms or 1s orbitals of hydrogen atoms as a result all the four bonds linking the carbon atoms with other atoms are sigma bonds as these bonds are quite strong and are not easily attacked by other re reagents alkanes do not react with usual laboratory reagents under ordinary conditions that is why they are termed as saturated hydrocarbons or paraffins latin param is equal to little affinis means affinity it may also be noted that due to sp3 hybridization of the carbon atoms of alkanes the four bonding orbitals of each carbon are directed towards the four corners of a tetrahedron for instance let us consider the case of methane the simplest alkene in the formation of its molecules the four sp3 orbitals of an only carbon atom overlap the one s orbital of the four hydrogen atom which are situated at the corner of tetrahedron represent a molecular model of methane is a simplified three dimensional representation of the molecule in this representation the wedge represents the bond pointing towards the observer out of the plane of the paper the hedged line represents the bond going away from the observer behind the plane of the paper and the normal line shows the bond in the plane of the paper each carbon hydrogen bond each carbon hydrogen bond has a length of 110 picometer or 1.10 angstrom and each hydrogen carbon hydrogen angle is 109 degree 28 minute similarly in case of ethane in higher alkanes the relative arrangement of bond is always tetrahedral although the different bond angles may be slightly different from the regular tetrahedral value 109 degree 28 minute the carbon hydrogen bond length is about 110 picometer while the carbon carbon bond length is 154 picometer or 1.54 angstrom or nearly so on account of the tetrahedral arrangement of the four bond formed by each carbon atom the molecules of alkanes are three dimensional in nature moreover in case of alkanes containing more than two carbon atoms the carbon atoms of the chain do not actually lie along a straight line this is quite obvious from the model of propane shown in figure in fact for higher alkanes the carbon carbon chain can assume a variety of zigzag shape but for the sake of convenience the carbon atoms are written in a straight line so far as possible to have a planar representation as shown below classification of carbon atoms in alkanes the carbon atoms present in alkanes can be divided into four categories as given below first primary carbon atoms it is a carbon atom which is linked directly to either one or no carbon atom secondary carbon atom it is the carbon atom which is linked directly to two carbon atoms tertiary carbon atom it is a carbon atom which is linked directly to three carbon atoms quaternary carbon atom it is a carbon atom which is linked directly to four carbon atoms for example there are five primary one secondary and one tertiary and one 
quaternary carbon atom in the given figure. Hydrogen atoms are also classified as primary, secondary, tertiary, according as they are linked to a primary, secondary, and tertiary carbon respectively. Thus, in the example given above, there are 15 primary hydrogens, secondary hydrogens, two tertiary hydrogen one nomenclature of the alkanes the common and iupac system of naming the saturated hydrocarbons are discussed below the common system according to this system the first four members of saturated hydrocarbons have special name while the higher members are named according to latin or greek numerals indicating the number of carbon atoms in the molecules the name of all the members are in n and in n in case of isomeric alkanes from C4H10 onwards, the following distinctions are made in naming the various isomers. The hydrocarbon having all the carbon atom in a straight or continuous chains are termed normal of anhydrocarbons. For example, n-pentane, n-butane is named. Branched chain isomers having a tertiary carbon atoms are known as iso while those containing a quaternary carbon termed as new alkyl groups the removal of one hydrogen atoms from a molecule of an alkane give a monovalent group called alkyl group it has general formula c and h2 n plus 1 and is usually represented by the letter r the names of alkyl groups are obtained by replacing the suffix n of the name of corresponding alkane by i it may be possible to get more than one alkyl group from an alkane depending upon the position of the carbon from which hydrogen is removed as illustrated below. Name the formula of alkane, methane. While removing one hydrogen gives methyl. IUPAC system. Straight chain alkanes. The alkanes in which all the carbon atoms are present in straight chain are named by adding the suffix N to the appropriate word root. Examples methane, ethane, propane, butane. Branched chain alkanes. In case of branched chain alkanes, the largest possible continuous chain of carbon atom is selected. The corresponding word root followed by the suffix in is written down. The chain is numbered from the end, which gives the lowest number to the carbon carrying the substituent alkyl group. If the number of the substituent group is more than one, numbering is done from the end according to the lowest set of locants for the branching alkyl groups. The name of branching alkyl groups along with the branchment numbers are then prefixed before the word root in alphabetical order as illustrated below 2 methyl propane 2 methyl butane 2 2 dimethyl propane some important point for giving iupac names a few important point to be remembered for iupac names of alkanes are given below if two different alkyl groups are equidistant from the two ends of the parent chain the numbering of the chain is done in such a way that the group which comes first in alphabetically order get the lowest number for example 3 ethyl 6 methyl octane octane since ethyl comes ahead of methyl in alphabetically order the parent chain is numbered from the end which gives the lower number of ethyl group if the group attached to the parent chain is also branched sometimes called complex substituent it is named as substituted alkyl group by separately numbering the carbon atoms of this group. For this purpose, the carbon atom of this group, the carbon atom of this group which is attached to the parent chain is always numbered as 1. The name of such group is always written in bracket. For example, 7 ethyl, 2 methyl, 2 methyl propyl, no name. Now third point, for deciding their alphabetical orders, the complete name of the complex substituent including the prefixes such as di and tri forming the part of the name is considered. For example, 5, 1, 2, dimethyl, butyl, 7, ethyl, 2, methyl, 
decays. The alphabetical order of the name of the complex substituent is decided on the basis of letter D, which is the first letter of the complete name of this group. While naming a compound, if two equally long chains are possible, but the number of side chains attached to each possible chain are different, the possible chain having largest number of side chains is selected as the parent chain. For example, 3,5-diethyl to 4 dimethyl octane. Structural isomerism in alkanes. Each of the first three members of alkanes, methane, ethane, and propane, can have only one structural formula. That is, however, the higher members from butane onwards can be represented by more than one structural formula and thus exhibits two structural isomerism. The various isomers of the same hydrocarbon differ in the framework of the chain of carbon atoms and therefore isomerism exhibited by alkene is termed as chain isomerism. For example, n-butane isobutane. Similarly, pentane exists in the form of three isomers. And pentane, isopentane, neopentane. Natural source of alkane. Petroleum, which occurs naturally below the surface of earth, is a mixture of many hydrocarbons, most of which belongs to alkane series. Natural gas, which is issued from petroleum fields and fuel gases obtained from coal, contain lower alkanes. The waxy constituent of some plants have also been found. To contain alkanes, for example, pine wood and turpentine oil contains n heptane, while the leaves of cabbage contain n non cosine C29H60. General method of preparation The preparation of alkane by synthetic method is only rarely carried out. The usual practice is to isolate these hydrocarbons, particularly the lower ones, from some suitable natural source however some of the general method which can be employed for their preparations are discussed below first hydrogenation of unsaturated hydrocarbons sabatial and sandaran reactions alkenes or alkynes can react with hydrogen in presence of a catalyst finely divided nickel platinum or palladium to form alkenes alkene plus hydrogen in presence of nickel and temperature 525 to 575 Kelvin gives alkane. Ethylene in presence of nickel 525 to 575 degrees Kelvin temperature gives ethane. Acetylene in presence of hydrogen 2 moles in presence of nickel and 525 to 575 Kelvin temperature gives ethane. The use of nickel as a catalyst for hydrogenation requires a temperature of about 525 to 575 Kelvin, but if platinum or palladium is used as catalyst, the reaction can take place even at room temperature. Methane cannot be prepared by this method as the starting alkene or alkyne must contain at least two carbon atoms. Reduction of alkyl halide. Alkyl halide can be reduced directly or through the formation of Grignard reagents to form alkanes. Direct reduction. The direct reduction of alkyl halides is generally carried out with chemical reducing agents such as zinc, hydrochloric acid or zinc, copper, copper and alcohol or with hydrogen in the presence of palladium catalyst. For example, alkyl halide gives alkane. N-butyl bromide gives N-butane plus HBr. Isopropyl chloride gives N-propane plus HCl. The reduction may also be carried out by heating the alkyl halide, particularly iodide, with hydrogen iodide in the presence of lead phosphorus in a sealed tube. For example, ethyl iodide in presence of hydrogen iodide gives ethane plus iodine reduction through the formation of Grignard reagents this is an indirect method of reducing alkyl halides a solution of an alkyl halide in dry ether is treated with magnesium to form an ethereal solution of alkyl magnesium halide commonly known as Grignard reagent for example alkyl halide plus magnesium in presence of dry ether gives alkyl magnesium halide or Grignard reagent 
the grignite reagents are easily decomposed by water producing alkanes grignite reagent plus water gives alkane mg bracket oh into x it may be pointed out that the alkanes and alkenes and alkyl halides used for the preparation of alkenes by the above mentioned method are themselves generally obtained from alcohol but the alcohol cannot be directly converted into alkene as the hydroxy groups of most alcohol resist reductions to corresponding alkenes woods reaction third this reaction brings about the union of two alkyl radicals by the action of metallic sodium upon alkyl halides in dry ether the resultant products are alkanes with a carbon skeleton having higher number of carbon atoms than the reacting alkyl halides for example alkyl halide plus 2 na plus alkyl halide in presence of dry ether gives alkane plus 2 na i it may be noted that when the reaction involves two molecules of the same alkyl halide symmetrical alkane having an even number of carbon atom is formed for preparing unsymmetrical alkanes containing three or more than three carbon atoms for example propane a mixture of different alkyl halide has to be used methyl bromide plus 2 na plus ethyl bromide in presence of dry ether gives propane plus 2 nabr but the product obtained by using different alkyl halides consists of mixture of alkanes which cannot be easily separated this is because the two alkyl halides also react separately with zinc with sodium to form two more hydrocarbons as product of the side reaction thus in case the above reaction ethane from ch3br and na and butane from c2h5br and n are also obtained the main feature of wood's reaction is that it leads to the formation of a carbon carbon bond as such the reactions can be employed for preparing compounds containing higher number of carbon atoms from those containing less number of carbon atoms for example ethane may be obtained from methane as follows for example ch4 plus cl2 gives ch3 cl plus hcl the order of reactivity of different alkyl halide in this reaction is iodide first bromide then chloride limitation of wurz reaction it is suitable only for the preparation of symmetrical alkanes it cannot be used for the preparation of methane tertiary alkyl halide cannot be used in this reaction mechanism two mechanism have been suggested for this reaction these are intermediate formation of free radicals according to this mechanism it is believed that the alkyl halide first form alkyl hal radicals which combine with one another to furnish the hydrocarbon thus rx plus na gives free radical plus nax free radical of alkyl alkyl free radicals plus gives hydrocarbons the mechanism operate when the reason is carried out in vapor phase intermediate formation of an organometallic compound here the reaction is believed to take place through the formation of organometallic compound as intermediates for example rx plus 2 na gives rna plus nax rna plus xr gives rr plus nax This mechanism operates when the reaction is carried out in so